now the two-time Open Futurity champion. Wesley, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. We're excited to talk with you finally after this big win. First, I want you to take us back to that moment at whopping 228 and a half in the finals. But I know it wasn't easy. You were last out in the set. So I want you to explain, first of all, for someone that doesn't get to do this each and every day, why is that not a favorable position when you're trying to win a big title like that? Well, you kind of get to pick your cows. So when you go last, you kind of get the last of the picking of the cows. Um, a lot of times, most of the better cows have been cut early on, especially in those first few holes to fifth hole. And so now you kind of get into the cows that nobody wants. But luckily in the finals, I think they get five or six cows per horse in the finals. So it helps out those last hole draws a lot more so than in the semifinals or the go around. So um, we had a good game plan. We went down there and um, it worked out. It definitely did work out. You had to overcome so many different odds, 700 horses, top 3% to get to where you were. Take me through that. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's it's a marathon, this show. It's different than any other show of the year um, because, you know, just to get through the first goes, maybe six days long. Um, so you get the first go, second go, qualify to the semifinals, and then you have about two weeks or a little over two weeks to um, the semifinals. And um, then it comes to semifinals and the finals. And so you got to have them ready to go there at the end. And it's very elite and very uh, competitive. And this horse is, as you can see, just extremely talented and, and uh, has a lot of ability. Um, and he, he just really got better through the go-rounds and the semifinals. Uh, we marked a 25, and I knew we had a chance if, if we could get showed right just because of his ability. And um, it turned out, and in, in really that third cow just really it did it for us. I mean, we, we worked it with 28 seconds to go, and it, it was just a phenomenal cow, just really trying him and challenging him. And, um, he's just so quick and fast and athletic. He just, he never let it get a step out of whack. I love that little celebration there. And of course, you're talking about Lone Wolf, sired by Metallic Rebel, owned by Billy Wolf. You saw that horse as a yearling and you knew he was special then, but did you know early on that he had what it take would take to win a big title like this? Well, I thought he had all the talent. Um, I, when I worked him as a yearling in the round pen, he, he was the fastest, most athletic horse I've ever seen in the round pen. And I thought, man, if he just has half the brain, this horse has got a chance to be able to win these Fort Worth type of shows. And, and then it comes out that he does have a, a very good brain. So he, he's he's been like that from day one, just extremely talented and fast and just the sky's the limit for him. He definitely is a standout, but for you as a trainer, how gratifying is it for you to bring him along correctly and have so much success on him? Yeah, I think it's very important for my program to have these horses as two-year-olds and start them and, and kind of just mold them our way and my way. Um, so that's all they know is just my way. And um, that just helps us kind of gain momentum throughout their career and year and coming into the fraternity. They... I really feel like they really know what I'm asking them to do and there's no confusion and they're confident in doing what we're trying to do. Now, of course, that's a horse to be proud of, but you've had a year to be proud of and, and truly a career to be proud of too. In 2004, you were the youngest rider ever to win the title. You were back again to win it again in 2023, but it wasn't just this title that you took home. You had a $1.3 million year. What went so right in Wesley Galleon's world this year? Well, I think we were just tremendously blessed. Um, you know, we really set some crazy goals. And, and um, you know, I, I, I believe uh, I'm, I really rely on my faith a lot. And um, I pray hard and I work hard. And um, we set some crazy goals. And, and I really feel like, um, you know, God kind of just came through and just really showed me what he can do. And um, and he really, you know, just helped our goals come true and, and just the year that we had and, and the team that we got to that we put in the work to get there, it, it's been an extraordinary year for sure. Well, Wesley, it sounds like you're a perfect example. If you live right, if you pray right, you will get the right things happening to you. Thank you so much for joining us on Western Sports Roundup today. You bet. Thank you for having me.